hello everyone on this video I want to show you a real quick way to separate in your steep charges in Xactimate X1 so I have this uh, sketch that has several different types of pitches we have 9, tw uh, 20, then 4 and then some of them don't even, you know, they're flat. So this is a simple one actually because you can use this, but sometimes you might have a list that's twice as big as, as this. So I'm going to show you the easiest way to separate this stuff. There's a lot of ways what I'm going to do here as far as exporting this into an Excel. The easiest way to do this is right click export roofer annotations to Excel. Uh, you would name it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it uh, steep charge. Okay, I'm going to save it to the desktop. I'm going to go to the desktop okay open it up I just double clicked on it now it's real simple to do this you click on your first row you go to uh, home no excuse me go to data you see right here where it says filter just click on that now you can separate your uh, so I'm going to expand all my columns so that it's easier to, to read so now this is how easy it is to separate the stuff you click here deselect everything remember the first ones I'm looking for is between 7 and 9 so I don't see any, anything between 7 but I do see a 9 so I'm going to click here and I'm going to hit OK now remember this is square feet uh, Square feet, this is squares. So if I click here and hit Alt Enter and return, it gives me the, um, I mean, large this area, uh, gives me the total. Okay, so let me undo so that you can see how and where I got that uh, all e equal. So if I click here, I go to data and excuse me I go home and I click on this auto zoom uh, sum if I click here and hit enter is the same thing as you know clicking here hitting um, alt equal enter this thing right there you'll see it shows you the command or control you see ALT plus equal anyway so now I do this different because I use scripting so I'm showing you the basic way to doing this so if I split my screen by hitting my um, um, window left key go to Xactimate and hit Windows right screen I'm gonna split those two screens okay now that way I can see this and see this from here I'm gonna go to my estimate part and you are you know how to do that but I I go in and hit just hit control E for my estimate okay I'm gonna delete all this stuff because I had already done this before on a different lesson so now I would click here and I would put you know R F uh, G S T E E P. Now, if you look right here, you have twelve point fifty one squares, and you hit OK. Um, depends on who you work for. Either you're going to replace or or do an you know an percent because it's already being removed. Some people say you have to use only the replace uh, that's going to be up to your carrier so you're going to hit OK now here you don't have to 
but I always do. I go in here and I let them know which facets, uh, and remember, look, I'm looking up here, which facets that I am, uh, excuse me, which facets that I'm allowing for this pitch, okay? Then I would go to the next one. I can go right in here, click on, so the next one would be 10 through 12, and, the, uh, and then just hit okay. And uh, it looked like it already totaled it for us, because we had that con command there for, you know, already, but I wanna make sure, so I'm gonna delete, I'm gonna hit Alt, Enter, and it was, this is the, the correct one, okay? So I think that's what's the same one, but so here I'm gonna hit RFG, S-T-E-E-P, and then this time I'm gonna hit greater than will give me 10 to 12. I'm gonna click here and type 23.2, hit okay. Now, and it, you know, we're gonna remove the remove because I think that's being removed on the uh, when you're removing the first uh, oh actually no 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 I take that back oh, uh, I'm thinking about uh, you would you would do it you'd, you'd put the end you know remove and replace so um, see there's a lot here to type you know uh, let's do it. I, I, I know a real easy way, but it's just going to confuse people. So I'm going to double click here, and then I will put F13, uh, F14, F15, F16, uh, 16, uh, F18, F19, F21. F22, F24, F25, F65, F67, and then F69. Okay, so you see, that is a lot of typing, right? So I'm going to hit close, and it, it put it in there. Let me show you how I do it. And I have a lot of... Um, I have a lot of videos that show Word and Excel, so you know if you want to learn how to do this, it's real, real simple. So watch this. Actually, I'm going to show you now. If you click here, you hit Control C, you click here, you right click, you go to Special Paste, okay? Go to Special Paste, just click on Transpose. Now it's going to put it sideways for you. While you have it selected, just hit Control C. You, it's not going to let you copy this into um, to Word. I mean, uh, into X1. But if you go into your Notepad and just paste it there, hit Control A, Control C, go back to Exactimate. Um, then you could actually go in here and well first of all uh, we, we haven't put the uh, so no yeah we did okay so you know we could go in here hit control A and then just hit control V let's close it okay now the last one uh, <clears throat> If we go in here again, deselect everything, and select 20, and hit OK, uh, and it already gave us the correct, uh, and let's delete this, because that was from the other one. So we got 6.4, let me move, move that over so you can see it. So now we're going to hit RFG, that's T E E P, greater than, greater than. Um, you can see it to the left, 6.42. Uh, 
uh, you hit OK. Now this one here, there's not that many, so it's probably faster just to type uh, F3, oops, here, F3, F6, F7, and F10, and you close it, boom, you're done. So uh, that's how easy it is. It's a lot faster, because remember, I'm explaining and showing y'all how to do things. This only takes really like one or two minutes to do this. It used to take me 30, 40 minutes to separate these things. I, I didn't, I, I never had anybody give me this kind of instructions. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please subscribe to me or at least give me a thumbs up. We'll see you on the next video.